Hi everyone, Sean Kennedy here from the YouTube channel Java SE Certification Training. In this video, I would like to look at the Entheware question 2.1227, which is from their using loop constructs. And here's the question here. Given the following code, which of these statements are true? And you're giving a loop here, a for loop, values of k and m and i, and they're incremented in different parts of the loop, and what are the values of k and m at the end. We have to select three options. It will print three and two. If line one is replaced by a break, then the one with continue, continue, and then there's one or two others. So we'll step through each one of those in turn now. So let's look at the first one. It will print three comma two for k and m when line one is replaced by a break, which is in this if statement when i is equivalent to two. So let's take a look at that. So we have k is set to 0, m is set to 0, and then we go into the loop, and i is initialized to 0. The loop uh, condition is true, so we go in and we increment k to 1. If i is equivalent to 2, well, it's not, because i is 0. That fails. Then we increment m by 1. Hit the curly bracket, go up here, increment i by 1 as well. Is the loop condition still true? 1 less than or equal to 3 is true, so we go back in. k++, plus plus, increment k. If i is equivalent to 2, well, it's not. i is 1. So that fails. Then we do m++, plus plus, goes to 2. Hit the curly bracket, go up here, increment i, i goes to 2. 2 less than or equal to 3, OK, that's true. And we go, increment k. If i is equivalent to 2, well, it is true now. i is equivalent to 2. And what we're testing here is if we replace line 1 with a break. So if we put in a break here, that means we break out of the for loop. And we output k and m, which will be 3 and 2. So it will print 3, 2 when line 1 is replaced by a break. That is correct. So A is the first one. We have to select three of them. Okay, so let's look at the next one, which actually the two of them are grouped together. It's going to be one or the other. When we replace line two with a continue. So K is zero, M is zero, and I is zero. K plus plus goes to one. The if statement is false and m plus plus goes to 1. We go back up, we increment i, which goes to 1. That's true, we go back in, increment k. If i is equivalent to 2, it's not. It's 1 at the moment. M, m plus plus, and then we increment our i. i less than or equal to 3, correct. That's OK. k plus plus, it goes to 3. If i is equivalent to 2, and it is, now we do a continue, which means you jump past the rest of the code to there, which brings you up to here. So you're passing the m++. You go i++ next. So i now goes to 3. And we'll just put it in there that that's still 2. 3 less than equal to 3, yes. Increment your k goes to 4. If i is equivalent to 2, no. It's false now. Increment your m. m goes to 3. Hit your curly bracket. Go up and increment your i. i goes to 4. Go over and check, is it OK to go in? It's not, because that's greater than 3. So, which will it print? 3, 2, when it's Replaced by and continued are 4, 3, k being 4 and m being 3. So it's the third one here. k is 4 and m is 3 when line 1 is replaced by continue. So we've got down as far as there now and we've selected two of them. Okay, so let's look at the next one. 
which is uh, it will print 4 4 if line 1 is replaced by i is assigned m plus plus so we start out with k m and i all set to 0 k plus plus goes to 1 if statement is false m plus plus goes to 1 hit the curly bracket come up increment your i i goes to 1 1 less than or equal to 3 that's true so we go in k plus plus goes to 2 if i is equivalent to 2 no that's false m plus plus m goes to 2 hit the curly bracket i plus plus i goes to 2 2 less than or equal to 3 that's true k plus plus that goes to 3 if i is equivalent to 2 it is so now we do the statement which is i is assigned m plus plus which is i is assigned m followed by m plus plus in that order so i is assigned m which just basically makes it 2 again m plus plus makes m 3 we then come down here and we increment m again goes to 4 hit the curly bracket go up here increment i i goes to 3 3 less than or equal to 3 that's true in increment k k goes to 4 if i is equivalent to 2 no that's false increment your m m goes to 5 go up here increment i i goes to 4 that's now false so we output k and m which is 4 and 5 so that's false that option there is false so that leaves us with the last option down here which is it will print 3 3 when line 1 is replaced by i is assigned 4 so we'll have a look at that one now okay so we've got k m and i okay we'll go into the loop k plus plus goes to 1 the if statement is false increment our m increment our i as we start the loop again it's true k plus plus goes to 2 if statement is still false m plus plus goes to 2 increment our i i goes to 2 the condition is true so we go in k plus plus goes to 3 if i is equivalent to 2 well it is and what we've got to do here is replace line 1 with i is assigned 4 so i now becomes 4 we increment our m goes to 3 we increment i i goes to 5 and the condition is now false and we output k and m which is 3 and 3 so the last option therefore is correct so the first one the third one and the last one are the correct options there so i hope you liked the video if you did please click like if you want to get further videos please subscribe and any other comments please leave them below thanks very much